Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star Series live here on Sports Corner GH and my name is Eden. So guys, in today's video, I have updates concerning the Black Stars as they prepare to play Mexico on the 14th of October and also USA on the 17th of October. Now, the Ghana Football Association, through their spokesperson, Harry Asante Chung, has given an update on the Black Stars and it is divided into three parts. One has to do with why the Black Stars are not playing against any country in Europe the second has to do with why some players are not part of Coach Christian's squad to play in the October friendlies. And also the third one has to do with why some players are yet to arrive at the Blaster camp currently. So guys, I'm going to give you this update live here on Sports Corner GH. Also, I'm going to give you a brief background on the new boy, Jerome Mopopo live here. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, so thank you very much and may God richly bless you on the black star series we give shout outs so this is a shout out list if your name is on the shout out list i want to say a very big thank you to you for supporting sports corner gh continue to support sports corner gh and god would always bless you now if your name is not here don't worry comment under this video and i'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list we do live here on sports corner gh in october our giveaway is still ongoing comment under this video and any other video we drop here on sports corner gh and stand a chance of winning yourself a free JC of your choice very very simple please make sure to participate so guys quickly let's jump into it and talk about the black stars now gfa spokesperson ford area asati chum has given us three updates on the black stars and the first one would have to do with why the black stars were not able to secure a friendly match against any country in europe and this is the reason harry asati chum gave he says that most of those countries in europe are playing in the nation's um, cup or the nation's league that is the reason why they were not able to secure a friendly match with them now the ones they were able to get is mexico and also usa and this is for preparation towards the world cup qualifiers and also the afcon we are going to play next year any part of next year in ivory coast so guys that is the latest update update number one from henry asante to now update number two he was asked why some players were omitted from the blaster squad now the player in question that was asked that the accident was jonathan Sowa. now most people who know jonathan Sowa, he was part of the blaster squad last month in the last 20 match we played against liberia and also the african cup of nation qualifiers against the african republic he was part of the squad he plays for mediama he's one of their best players and this time around he, he didn't end up follow up and he was asked that ah this player did well in the last game. Why didn't you people call him for this game? And this was his answer. He says Mediama are also playing a friendly match in the USA against DC United. And in fact, it is a partnership between the Ghana Football Association, the Ghana Premier League, and also the MNS that any winner from the Ghana Premier League would go and play in a mini tournament with an MLS side. And I think this is very good. But now the problem with Mediama and why Mediama were not able to have their player with the final 23 month squad is that most of the players from Mediama were denied visas. And the reason why they were denied visas was because of their bank statement. Now, if a player is earning around 800 CDs or 600 CDs, that is equivalent to, let's say, five, five, $55 or let's say $65 or $75, that is if it's 800 CDs. I mean, the embassy would surely deny this person a visa. And some of the players were not able to travel with the Mediama team. So it's only a few players. Now, if you see the picture here, you see some of the Mediama players with, you know, visit Ghana, Ghana, blah, blah, blah. It's a whole tourism something. And I think this is a very good initiative. But the reason why Jonathan Sowa didn't make the squad was because most of the players from Mediama were denied visas. So they need some of their core players to play in that friendly. That is why Jonathan Sowa was not part of Coach Chris Hutton's final 23 month squad to play the game. But... He also added that Jonathan Sowa's name is on the standby list. He says Coach Rizutin did not only submit a 23-man squad, he submitted a 23-man and also a standby list. And Jonathan Sowa's name is on the standby list. So anything can happen. It just happen. And then players will also be replaced. So anything can happen between now and the end of the friendly match. Now, he was also asked about another Midama player, the person of Fatal Hamidu. Now, Fatah Hamidu is not in the blaster camp, but he's part of the final 23 man squad coach is shooting, you know, released. And when he was asked, he says that Fatah Hamidu was supposed to be part of the blaster squad. But Mediama came to the FA and begged them and told them that, see, 
Our players have been denied pieces. So we need you to allow Fatah Hamidou play the friendly match with us against this United. Now, after playing, we would allow him to come to the blaster camp. Besides, we are all playing with USA. So that is the reason why Fatah Hamidou has not joined the blaster squad. He is currently with Mediama ready to play or preparing to play the friendly match against DC United. So guys, this is the latest update concerning the Black Stars. Now, my big question I want to ask everybody. You guys, I want to ask you this question. Alexander Juku is injured. Daniel Amate is injured. And then uh, Jaron Opoku was called up. What is between Papi Fiefa and also the Ghana Football Association? Because I don't get it. Amongst all the players that switched nationality to play for the Black Stars when the Black Stars were about to play the World Cup last year, every one of those players at least end up call up to the Black Stars and at least had some time or some game time with the Black Stars. Except Patrick Fiefa. What is happening? The Blasters are not telling us some things. Or the Ghana Football Association, they are not telling us some things. Your guess is good as mine. I know there is a problem somewhere. Either the player decided not to actually play for Ghana and we announce it, or there is a big problem somewhere. There is something that they didn't really you know, agree on and the player has decided not to play for Ghana. But we seriously need clarification because I assume that at least if our senior defenders are not there, the next person in line should have been Patrick Fiefa. If we were going to call a new player in, it should have been Patrick Fiefa. But regardless, the coach decided to call in Jerome Popoku. Now, most people have been asking who Jerome Popoku is. So let's talk about him a bit. So Jerome Popoku was born in England. He's an English-born Ghanaian player. Um, he started playing football. Eh? He started playing football at Fulham under 23. He was doing so well. In fact, he was their captain at a point. Doing so well at Fulham. And Fulham saw his progress and decided that he... If you are doing this war, go to road. Go and have some first team experience and then come back and let's see if we can put you in a, into our squad. So he went on loan, went on loan, went on loan. But I said performance need improvement. They were not seeing it. They were not seeing the improvement. So this is what they did. They let him run out his contract. And then he became a free agent. When he became a free agent, then he signed for Portuguese side Aquila. Now, he signed for the Portuguese side. He wasn't really getting game time. Let's not forget, he's a centre-back in Portugal, Italy. The centre-backs there are really tagged. But he wasn't getting game time there. So, whilst he was at Akria, he was still, you know, playing like on road at other clubs. And then now, just last year, or just the last transfer window, sorry, just the last transfer window, in the last transfer window, he was sent on a season-long loan to Istanbul Baksashir in Turkey to go and play there. And he's doing very well there. I'm sure that is why he was able to catch the attention of Coach Kuchiyuti. So guys, this is where we are now. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Tell it, we go vibes.